on and around the mountain. It gives law enforcement more flexibility and more authority to close off areas and restrict access. All you can do, blur the news, man, so everybody can see all the terrorism in Hawaii, huh? That's Chris Hansen, Oahu, Hawaii. I'm being psychotronically tortured from uh, Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, uh, Honolulu, Hawaii airport direction as I'm trying to watch the news about Hawaii here. Slow-moving vehicles moved through town on the h one this traffic cam caught the shot near the vineyard also blurring the phone blocked other drivers from getting around them. The protesters were also seen at the Honolulu Airport holding Hawaiian flags from their vehicles and chanting. HBD says officers issued four citations for obstruction. <laughs> TMT opponents at UH called for President David Lassner's resignation today. The group included about 150 students, faculty, and staff. They gathered outside Bachman Hall this afternoon as performance danced Tula, sang songs, and chanted. These people are upset with the university for allowing the TMT to have permits to move forward. Any institution that feels it suitable to arrest Upuna in order to build something has a serious ethical problem and to do it in the name of research is even worse thank you for coming out thank you for your passion and i do commit to everything i can to keep everyone safe resign yeah. resign already President Lassner stopped by the rally to give short remarks. He says today was a hard day for everyone, but the university is obligated to uphold the law and move ahead with the TMT project. Opponents also took their message to the Department of Land and Natural Resources. TMT opponents say they spoke See, he keeps blurring all the, all the captions here on my phone. Uh, and then it keeps talking about it over from the Honolulu airport. Their voice to skull as it's microwaving me in the back of my head. So that's another thing that's going on live here in Oahu, Hawaii uh, at 640 here in the evening. It's the 17th of now of July. This afternoon near Poly Highway and Vineyard Boulevard. Emergency Medical Services says a 20 year old man suffered two gunshot wounds. And it's still blurring all the camps in here on condition. my phone. The investigation. And I find out I'm not the only one it does this with that they got it built into all the phones because it's all over uh, Facebook and, and other people's uh, phones that are being blurred to try to uh, just. He was booked for electronically harass people with their satellite technology and their uh, just their, their stuff that they got built into the phones now to terrorize people. Usually it's to hide any kind of news you want to get out there or, or whatever. They do it to blur the screen. We started the day with a few more showers for windward areas. but it's Now it's whiting out the screen so you can't see the time. Us you know, feel cool. Well, it will at least so, feel cool so, for the next so couple of days. Good news, at least. The wind department the trades continue to be breezy for the next several days. Right now, they're coming in at 10 to 20 miles per hour with the usual stronger winds for a company as well as for a Kona Kakai. Meanwhile, those showers that started off the day have tapered off, although we still have some isolated wind ridge passing showers this evening. They may increase a little bit toward the morning. Now, it still did get hot today. Got up to 90 in Honolulu and 89 in Kahului, which is actually the first time since June 20th that the high temperature in Kahului did not hit at least 90 so degrees. So it's but there 90, is 90, 90 degrees uh, right now here. 90 progress. degrees. Thank you, man. Also ahead tonight, healthy options in this week's Cheap Eats. We'll show you that. Cheap Live on Spectrum 22 and Hawaiian Telecom 13. Woo! It's now or never, darling.